Christmas atmosphere coming from our audience again this evening. The usual sort of low-hanging cloud of cheap aftershave beer fumes and unwashed socks. But tinged with sadness tonight because this is the last pop quiz of the current series. Ah. I knew you'd do that. <laughs> so for one more time with not a dry eye or a dry glass for that matter in the place, let's introduce two teams. Six brilliant minds eager to demonstrate their breathtaking knowledge of the last three decades of popular music for no prize whatsoever. Sorry if you didn't spot that in the BBC small print. The first team is led by a man whose band The Wonder Stuff seems to have survived intact despite briefly having Vic Reeves as lead singer, Miles Hunt. <laughs> oh, Miles has seen a former member of ABC. He used to appear on stage apparently in a gold lame suit. Tonight he's wearing a sort of silver lame suit. Martin Fry. <laughs> And down the end there, closest to the bar, basically, a singer-keyboard player who has admitted in interviews that his most prized possession is his mummy. Oh. That's, that's the only street fair there. And let loose, Mr Richie Wormley. Yeah. Now, facing up to them on this, the last pop quiz of the current series. Oh. It's a team led by someone who's been recording albums and starring in films and TV shows for the best part of 15 years and still looks about... 14 and three quarters. Yes, Toya Wilcox. <laughs> On Toya's team, singer of the Beautiful South, whose latest hit single, Everybody's Talking, was not only recorded by Harry Nilsson, also done by Jimmy Tarbuck and um, <laughs> Mr. Spock, the one with the big ears on Star Trek, <laughs> David Hemingway. <laughs> and formerly from Dead or Alive, but now with International Crisis, Pete Burns. <laughs> OK, what more logical way then to begin a show uh, than a round called Great Endings. Now, we're going to play each of them a very last bit from a well-known record. From those final chords, they have to correctly identify the name of the artist for one point and the name of the song for another. We start with you, Martin Fry. Have a little listen to this ending. Here we go. That's right. <laughs> Got it. Jonathan Richmond. Roadrunner. It's right for two points. Good grief. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Big hit. Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers in 1977. Right, David, your turn. Here's your ending. Have a listen. Well known, <laughs> or not? Sounded like Louis Armstrong to me. Yeah, okay, give you a point. I haven't a clue with the title, I'm afraid. Tell you it's from a Bond film. Um, <laughs> not much. It was from um, On Your Majesty's Secret Service, actually. Where did you get that from? <laughs> do I get a point for that? <laughs> you do actually. Well, you, yes, you do. It's, the, the song's actually called Something in the World. All the time in the world. I yeah. give you two points. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, it's another individual round. Hardly any help there from Toya, I wouldn't have thought. Right, Miles, have a little listen to this ending. Yes, I'm aware of this one. Miles. I should be aware of this. Should be aware of it. It's somebody that had something to do with various other bands that formed another band that I've criminally have forgotten. So uh, mm. it's not pretend that you're dead, is it? No, it isn't. You're right, it's not. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to lose us a point, I'm afraid. It's the Breeders and it's Cannonball. Oh, oh, oh. so simps when yes. you know the answer. Right, Toy, your turn. Have a little listen to this ending. <laughs> don't even get a vocal in it. No. Richie Sabotage. knows. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, nah, nah. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, well, she reckons you, you know it, Richie. I don't, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, you don't yeah, know it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody knows. It, well, yeah. The rascal's good loving. Right, Richie, your turn. Have a listen to this well known ending. Ding. Uh, delight. Yeah, what was it called? Groovers in the heart. Groovers in the heart, right? Well done for a point. <laughs> well, got two points. 
Right, Pete, your turn. Have a listen to this well known ending, well known. I want to answer the question, Edith. I knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's Louie Louie, or Lou Lou. Lou Louie Louie. <laughs> Lou, Lou. I don't know who it's by. That's because Toy hasn't written it down on a pad yet. No, I didn't read on it. <laughs> it's by, uh, I can't read That's it right. Right, I'll offer it to you. Do you know who it's by? Uh, yeah. Sam the Sham. No, and it, wasn't. The... no it, wasn't. it was the Kingsman. Oh. Oh. Louie Louie from uh, excuse 64. Me. Excuse me. Did You're so busy reading Toy's back. Read, uh, right, right, let's have a look at the scores <laughs> at the end of that round. Three to Toy. A little bit of a low scoring first round. Uh, four to Miles' his team at the end of round one. <laughs> right. Well, it's going, um, well, it's going, isn't it? After that, we blunder into our next round. It's called Celebrity Interviews, this round. Now, we show each team a clip from a long-gone TV chat show, and from the line of questioning, all they have to do is, for two points is work out who the interviewer is interviewing. Toy and Co., your clip comes first. Now, it's, uh, it's Terry Wogan who's asking the questions and managing to leave his own knees alone for a whole minute. <laughs> I'm the shock horror probe of the year in pop 1990 with the scandal. They had to give their Grammy back. Let's go back to the beginning. How did you get involved in this? That's the first question I asked you was, he made a record. And he then, what did he do? Went out and got you two. Where did he get you? So, Tori, okay, you look as if you know, actually. I think you probably do. Millie uh, Vanilli. I think you might be right. You're going to call yourself Robin Fab. That's who you are now. Yeah. The new Millie Vanilli. <laughs> Millie Vanilli there in 1991, wearing sort of nubby hats without the bells. Right, Miles' team, uh, have a look at this. Now, the chat show this time, the chat show host is Michael Parkinson. He's from Yorkshire, you know, but he hardly mentions it at all. For two points, <laughs> who's Parky talking to? He once described himself, self-mockingly, I should say, as a boring little midget who's reached the top without the aid of payola. He has only four chords and is prone to getting fat at Christmas. I suppose a lot of... Uh, of sort of older people looking in would see you there on stage with all that sort of sequin glitter on and banging away at the old Joanna and, and generally having a good time and say, what's it all about? Oh. Miles, got a clue? Uh, yeah. no, can you try Who was Parky talking to? Um, it wasn't Little Richard, was it? Any ideas? Oh. We think Elton John. Elton John? Yes. OK, two points up for grabs. Let's have a look, see who's right. When, in fact, did you, did you very first, the first time in your life, start to play piano? Can you remember the first time you played? Oh, yes, I was about three and a half before. Elton John and Michael Parkinson in 1976. They've hardly changed at all, either of them, have they? Right, let's have a look at the scores at the end of that round. Uh, four now to Miles' team, but a huge lead now for Toy Wilcox & Co, up to seven points. <laughs> right, coming up next on our final show of the series. <laughs> Something which traditionally reduces our players to scowling, incoherent zombies, rather like the first three rows of a Rolf Harris concert. It's uh, <laughs> scrambled video time. It's the bit where we roll two videos simultaneously, and then to seriously scramble our two teams' brains, we play them a piece of totally unrelated music just to sort of disturb them, really, while they're trying to think. Now, there's one point for the artist or song in each video, and another point for the artist or song that's being played purely to confuse you when you're trying to work the rest of it out. OK?